Hello friends, in this video we will learn about a WP query. So I will give you an in-depth walkthrough of the WP query uh, in the WordPress. So in a WordPress, WP query used um, to, to fetch the uh, uh, post uh, or the content uh, from the database and to display um, in the front end. Okay, so in the front end, we know that we have home page, a blog, a blog page, then various archive pages, then single post pages. We also have archive pages of dates, authors, text uh, categories, tags, or if we have any custom taxonomies, then the archive pages of uh, custom taxonomies, uh, custom, uh, archive pages of the uh, custom post types and everything. So based on this um, uh, URL structure or the pages, uh, WP query use uh, to fetch the data uh, from the database. So in this uh, video, we will learn about it, how the WordPress query identify that what what type of data has to fetch from the database based on the URL and the different types of pages. Okay, so in, in general, the uh, WP query you can use like to query the, the uh, all the posts or the custom post types. Okay, you can also do a text query, a meta query or many other parameters you can pass. So all four of those parameters like author parameters, if you click on this, you can also fetch the post uh, or the given post types based on the author or author name, or there are multiple uh, parameters like category parameters and tag parameters and all the parameters. So you can see all the parameter list here in the uh, left hand side. So all those parameters you can go through from this documentation. So uh, on the developer.wordpress.org on a references classes WP query you can uh, you can uh, learn about all the parameters available uh, to query the uh, uh, posts okay so you can go through it but I won't give you uh, over your feature and everyone because you can easily learn from this uh, documentation about it but we will go through some other parts okay so for example uh, let's say here uh, this is the my uh, local site setup and I have imported some uh, like uh, theme unit test data so I have multiple posts here and this is my home page of the site learn wp .test. This is and this is my home page where I uh, selected to display uh, the list of the blog posts okay so this is basically my blog archive page where I can see a list of posts along with the pagination so I can go through the pagination as well so if I click on older post then it goes to it takes me to the second page and third page and uh, so on so on so you can you can select it uh, from the uh, wordpress settings uh, reading settings either you can display a particular page or you can display the list of the post okay so uh, how this wordpress displaying uh, this post uh, so wordpress uses the wp query so this is called the home page okay so let me give you also uh, uh, examples with the printing out the wp uh, wp query variable so in the wp content into the mu plugins i have created this just a file so mu plugins is the most used plugins in the wordpress and whatever the files are there within this uh, uh, folder all the files will be loaded automatically uh, by the WordPress and we don't have to do activate deactivate uh, about this ME plugins file. So I'm just using it this for demo purpose only. There is no other use of this wp-query.php file other than the demo. Okay, so what I will do is that I will use the uh, add action. Uh, there is a template redirect action uh, in a WordPress which used to redirect uh, to perform the redirect based on the pages. So if you want to add a redirection from old page to new page, then based on the template redirect, you can do any kind of redirection. So this action will be called uh, before any theme, templates from the theme, active theme will be uh, the, uh, load, uh, loaded. So I'm just using this uh, action uh, to showcase some of the uh, demo of the WP query. Okay, so what I will do is that I will just define a global uh, WP query. So this is the object of a WP query class uh, you are created by the WordPress and it's a global and this the uh, main uh, and this is the main query executed by the WordPress and this main query contains the uh, data from the database based on the various pages like home page or single page or single post page. So we will see how it's working. Okay, so what I will do is just simply I will just echo the WP query variable here okay and then uh, I simply just add a die statement so if we refresh the page 
now you can see the wp query object okay so in the wp query object uh, this is the query words um, this query were set by the rewrite api and rewrite tools and we will learn about in uh, another video but this query words uh, set by the uh, that and we can also pass the other arguments and based on those arguments wordpress will identify whether they have uh, needs to fetch the data from the um, database and what kind of data they has to fetch okay so this is the like a text query meta query you can pass currently it's empty and here you can see a request uh, property and in this request property there is you can see a mysql query in this mysql query construct based on those query where's uh, arguments passed and uh, it construct the sql query and it will execute that query and whatever data is set uh, fetches it's it will be available in the post uh, property okay so you can see all the in the wp post object all the list of the post ids okay so this is the way the like a uh, database query uh, wp query fetches the data and there are multiple things like uh, this is like a lot long list of the uh, content but you can also see some of the other properties uh, like the comment count uh, current comment say all these are the properties of the uh, wp query okay and this is used for so uh, it's uh, another property like found post has a 50 so that means that there are around 50 uh, published posts available by default and by default in the blog archive page wordpress displays only the default post type uh, post uh, will be displayed by the wordpress and currently there is a 50 published post okay so there are 50 uh, found posts are there and there is is single is previous. so these are called the conditional tags and based on this conditional tags a uh, user can do uh, conditional things whether they want to load the separate templates for single post type so there is a single.php uh, uh, theme uh, template available in a theme and in that theme you can use whether if it's a single then you want to display something else if it's a single uh, if it's a single custom post type page and you want to load a separate uh, different uh, template and anything so any any kind of things and this templates tells you at uh, this tags tells you that okay current which is the current page whether it's a home page whether it's a blog page whether it's a single page or whether it's a author archive page or category archive page or or many other there are many if it's attachment if it's a singular everything so we will also see how these values will be set okay so these are the uh, uh, properties you should know about it uh, in a, this is using the conditional tag for example let me just give another thing is that um, i'm just simply uh, just comment this out for temporary so that we can load the page okay now if i go to the blog button so this is my single post page okay and if i go back and just uncomment this one and then when refresh the page now you can see that in the query there is a name blog button and this query so based on this uh, url structure or permalink structure wordpress identify the queries and then it says the query where so this is the name of the post blog button okay and then if you see into the uh, request so you can see that select query where uh, the post name would be okay and it just uh, passes the uh, fetches the post and setting in the post with the zero uh, in the zero index so this is only the one post okay and uh, if you see here um, uh, that uh, here so you can see it is singular is a one because it's a single it's a single uh, page okay single post page you can also fetch is single here it's a one so if you if you run this it's single for example if i want to do something uh, okay so if i there is a conditional tag called is uh, single okay is single if it's a single then i only want to uh, like echo the like uh, echo the wp query object or else i don't want to so if it's single if you can see is it will just check whether this uh, it's called a single method uh, with the current post if there is no post then it will take from the global post variable okay so uh, it will just check it's called the is single uh, so i will just go through the wp query class find it here is single okay um, it's single okay now this is the function and we, it will check whether this is single property set or not if it's set if it's not set then it will get it from the uh, like a query object and then it will set it and it will return based on the object types so is single will work for all the single post of the all the custom post types 
okay but if you want to uh, check whether uh, the the current page is of uh, current custom post type page or not then you can use is uh, singular and you can pass the post type here for example uh, the post if you if you i i'm passing this here still it will work because the current single page about uh, uh, current single post uh, post type is a post so even if i refresh it here it will refresh but uh, if you remember in the previous video we have registered a movie post type so if i just uh, a singular movie then it won't uh, pre, pre, uh, print this wp query object because the current single uh, uh, current page is single post page but it's not a post of the movie post type okay so there is a difference between a single and a singular so if you just want to check whether the current page is the single post page or not and not regarding to the custom post types we are checking for all the custom post types then you can use a single but if you want to check whether uh, this single page a single post page is about movie post type or any other custom post type then you can use a is singular okay and there are many uh, there are many uh, functions are there you you can go through we will go through it so let me just remove this for now okay and uh, let me just comment out for temporary so that we can uh, reload the page okay so now if i go back here uh, there are multiple so for example this is the classic uh, or uh, let me just get another one. So this is the block image. So categorized as a block. So this is the category block archive page. Okay, so let's see how the WordPress query WP uh, global query looks like. Okay, so if I just go here and refresh it, you can see the category name a block because it's fast from uh, it passed from the URL structure category slash block. And based on this uh, category name, it will uh, it also set the cat id 6 because this category exists and its category id is a 6 okay and based on this parameter uh, wordpress will construct the sql query so now you can see here request actual sql query okay so you can see that the weather term text is it's uh, doing the join query between the wp post and wp term relationships and it will fetch latest uh, 10 posts of 10 posts of that block category and based on that uh, results it will it will set a post property where you can see the array of the all the posts and uh, let me just go through all the below okay now you can see is archive one because current page is the archive page and is archive similar to the is single so is single works for all the archive all the single pages of the all the, the uh, custom post types and is archive works for all the archive pages whether it's a category archive page whether it's a tag archive page whether it's author or day and time or year or any custom post types or custom text from your archive pages and another is the is category and this is one because current category archive page is the category archive page so this way it's a is category is true of one so if you call is archive or is category function then it will return through and based on that you can do a conditional thing just we had checked for the is single and is singular okay and similarly for all the archive pages different different these properties will be set by the wordpress uh, and it used for as a conditional tags in the theme okay so you can conditionally load the different uh, templates okay so that way uh, these things are managed okay see you on the next video jay wordpress